By the time I'm done with this latte, I will uncover the 10 lies that are making you a sad human. So I am at my favorite zinc cafe in Laguna Beach. Um, I just got away with my mom for the weekend. We're having some one-on-one -on -one mother daughter time and I got to sneak away for a little bit. So let's have a little pep talk. Okay, so let's talk 10 lies we tell ourselves that are holding us back, that are holding us down, making us depressed, getting in the way of us achieving the life that we want. I wrote these down. Number one, I'm bothering them. I'm bothering them. Do you know how many people are bothering you on a daily basis? Do you know how many people are in your way, needing things, asking you of things? We're afraid to ask for things because we think we're bothering people or we're afraid to speak our minds or we're afraid to just exist, to, to be, to, to do whatever we need to do because we think we're bothering people. It is time for you to get yours, for you to start getting what you need and what you want. So here in Laguna the other day, I was at a crosswalk and there was busy traffic. And it's one of those crosswalks where there are no lights, right? So there's no walking sign for me to safely cross. So I have to stand there and hope that cars stop. And they do, I've seen them stop for other people. But when I get up to the crosswalk, I was like, ooh, I just, I know I'm, I'm gonna bother these cars. They need to get to where they need to get to. I'm, I'm just gonna go around. And then I stopped in my tracks and I was like, this crosswalk was designed for somebody like me, for traffic to stop and for them to let me cross. So I walk back and I stand there and I just make eye contact with the drivers. Two cars stopped right away. That's just one example of me operating in a way where I just don't want to bother people. We need to stop doing that. It's, it's happening at our expense. That's no way to live start asking for what you need. And it's not even about asking for what you need. It's about you feeling like you being yourself, whatever that is. If you want to dance a little bit, if you want to laugh really loud, if you want to just be and exist in the world that you're bothering people, you're not bothering anybody. Okay. Think about how many people bother you every single day and get on their level. Okay. Number two, they're happier than I am. How do you know? How do you know that they over there are happier than you are? Do you go home with them at night? Are you behind closed doors? Are you within the walls, the confines of their home? Are you in their minds? Are you in their hearts? Just because somebody looks like they have it all together or just because somebody looks like they have the perfect life. Trust me, I pretended for so long that everything was perfect with me and I was broken inside. Okay, maybe it's not that deep or that dark <laughs> for some people, but what you see on the outside does not always reflect what is happening on the inside. Comparison really is the thief of joy because you don't know really what anybody's going through, right? Maybe their life looks picture perfect on Instagram, but little do you know that they've been battling with depression for 15 years, or little do you know that um, they are in a loveless, marriage. You don't know really what people are going through. So the person who you perceive to have everything, you can just start looking at it as maybe inspiration. Okay. If you like what you see, manifest those things for yourself. But in terms of wanting to be in their shoes or wanting to be that person, that's a very dangerous and slippery slope to go down because it only makes you undervalue your life. There have just been a lot of people that I've noticed where I always thought they had the perfect life, but then I find out what they've really been battling with. And then I think, wow, I was so silly to ever compare myself. What you need to do is to start working towards the life that you want. Okay, I gotta speed this up. Number three, it's too late for me. Five years ago, you wanted something, right? And you probably thought it's too late for me. Now, five years later, you're still thinking about that same thing. And you're never going to stop thinking about it until you actually try. It is never too late to achieve your dreams. I see people achieving them at 60, 70, 75. And I just find that so admirable. 
So the only danger of getting older is that you're racking up more years to look back on wishing you would have started. Start now. Number four, everyone's against me. The whole world's against me. You know, who's probably most against you is you. You're against you, which is why you think that everyone's against you. And you know, that is a victim mentality that a lot of us, a lot of us are guilty of. I've definitely been there thinking that everyone's mad at me, everyone's against me, oh no, poor me. But the only person against you truly is you. And I find that the more connected I feel with myself, the more I find a little bit more love and empathy and compassion for myself, the more I'm kind of like having a pep in my step, I, I feel lighter, I feel more joy. I actually don't have time to focus on whether anyone's against me or not. Number five, I don't deserve success. Why not? If not you, then who? I've made so many mistakes in my life. You know, I'm gonna tie in another lie here, okay? This is, this because these, these go hand in hand. I'm special. That is also another lie that is, that is making you sad. I realize that I am not special. A lot of people make mistakes. A lot of people fall down. A lot of people do things that they regret. And so if you're down on yourself because of your past, or you're down on yourself because of some trauma that you've gone through, you're not special. A lot of people have gone through trauma. And I've realized now that if you continue to think that you're special, you will think that you are the only case to be going through what you're going through. Therefore, you don't deserve success. Does that make sense? You deserve success, but you're just, you're holding yourself back. And frankly, nobody really cares about your problems. And I've been here where when you feel like you don't deserve success, you then start self-sabotaging. You then start going down this rabbit hole, self-destructive behavior because you're fulfilling that self-fulfilling prophecy that you don't deserve more than where you're at. You absolutely do. You have to believe that you deserve success. Success means picking yourself back up. At least for me, it means picking yourself back up, becoming a better person, elevating yourself, elevating your life, no matter what you've been through. You deserve to be successful. It's not just for other people. These are all things I've had to tell myself, guys. Number six, I'll get away with it. That is also making you sad and not getting you to where you need to be. Because as long as you indulge in behaviors that you feel like your body will just get away with or you as a person will get away with maybe you know that what you're doing is a little bit sketchy or wrong or ugly or you're ingesting things into your body every day that make you feel good in the moment but you're like it's probably not good for me in the long run but i'll get away with it you're not gonna get away with it all the times that I have stayed hidden or I've been engaged in something that I knew wasn't good for me, but I was like, if, you know, I'll get away with it. For now, I'll get away with it. Whatever that is, a maladaptive behavior, a coping mechanism, a uh, harmful activity, something that is just straight up wrong. The, the universe keeps score. I, I really do feel like the truth always comes to the surface. And if you're doing something that's bad for you, it's gonna come back around and that's your karma. It's gonna get you. And that could even be just like, binge eating every day. I used to binge eat. Your body keeps score and then it comes and bites you in the ass later on. So anything that you're doing where you're like, maybe this isn't great for me, but I'll get away with it, lies. Number seven, everybody knows better than me. That mentality makes you kind of walk around like a feather in the wind. And you're like, oh, oh, you know, you're giving me input and you're giving me input and you're right and you're right. If you think that everybody knows better than you, you will never know yourself. You'll never have a backbone to really make decisions on your own. You won't ever have the ability to trust your intuition and really trust your own decision-making. Not everybody knows better than you. Some, a few maybe, because of their experience or their expertise, but you thinking, you looking to everybody because you think that they know better than you if they're advising that you do something because people love to just kind of poke in and give you unsolicited advice, right? It's time to build your own backbone, trust your judgment, 
not everybody knows better than you. You might know better than some people, a lot of people, who knows? But it's not even about better than this person or that they're better than you. It's about you knowing what's best for yourself. Number eight. Oh, I'm special. Okay, I already went over that. Thinking you're special is also making you depressed because you think that you are a unique case when there are so many people in your same boat. So when you're feeling a certain way, if you're feeling down or if you're feeling like on top of the world, thinking that you are the one person that the world revolves around, that is false. Coming down to earth and realizing that the world doesn't revolve around you, that when you're really, really, really sad or in a challenging place and you think that you're the only one, hopefully it gives you a little bit of comfort to know that there are so many who are in your same boat. Whenever I felt down, I used to feel like, oh, I must be the only one who's feeling this way. But it's just not true. We're not special. I'm not special. You're not special. And when you do something awesome and you're hitting an achievement, you're achieving something, of course it should be celebrated. But I think the more that we can kind of stay like this and understand that we're just little tiny dots in the universe and in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of time, we won't matter. Okay, lastly, they're doing it intentionally. They're doing it intentionally. I say this to help you come to peace with not taking things so personally. Stop assuming that everyone is doing things intentionally to bother you, to hurt you. A lot of times people, they just wanna be they're just trying to exist and in their existence, they are bothering you or they might hurt your feelings. And I'm not talking about the people who are actively hurting you. If you're in a situation where you're actively, you know, someone's hurting you, you should definitely get out of that situation. But for the most part, when somebody is just being themselves and they could be absent minded or they could just be really tired that day or they have a lot on their plate and they're a little short with you or they forget something, you know, we have to stop thinking that they're doing it intentionally to piss us off. Think about all the times that you've kind of just tried living your life and you might've annoyed somebody or bothered them or pissed them off without even knowing it, but they gave you grace. So I think it's time for us to give people a little bit more compassion, a little bit more leeway. Yeah. I know that there have been times when I've probably unintentionally hurt somebody, bothered somebody, or really annoyed somebody just trying to be myself. And that's okay. So please stop telling yourself these 10 lies. Go after the life that you want. You got this. I got this. Let's go. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. Love you guys. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.